Hey, what's up? How's it going over there? How are you living? How's life treating you? What is this worldly experience <laughs> for you? How is it going? Can I ask that any more times? Are you ready for a miracle? Aren't we all ready for a miracle at any moment? And guess what? Miracles are happening every single moment just because you're right here. Not just because you're watching me and that's such a miracle, but it's because you're living, you're breathing, and we can dismiss that so easily. Oh, that's, that doesn't matter that much. That doesn't matter that much. What? That matters way much. Way much, dude. Like totes, my goats. So let's create a miracle today. There are already, like I said, millions happening right now inside your very being. There's like an entire galaxy inside your coolness. Things are working on your behalf. So that's already going in your, in your favor. Let's create some more, shall we? I think we shall, otherwise you wouldn't have clicked on this video. So let's do it. The thing that's stopping you from all the other miracles happening, so all this is happening all the time. So first step is to acknowledge that you are a miracle. And notice if that's like eye rolled right away. Notice if, that, if that's a little cringy. Because this is where narcissists win. <laughs> narcissists are hilarious. Some of them are very funny. Uh, but they have a grandiose sense of themselves, right? So this is why a lot of times they succeed because they're good at setting boundaries. <laughs> they're good at not putting up with stuff they don't want to. And they're also good at believing in themselves. So this is where we could take a tip from the narcissists, right? To say, yeah, I am a miracle. I am a gift. Don't be a narcissist about it, but I mean, you know, you could actually embody that. That's not such a bad thing. And I'll tell you why. Because when you embody it, then you can give it back. So use the healthy dose. Like if you have a little dash of narcissism, <laughs> don't, don't throw all the salt on there. It's way too salty but just the dash of like, hey, I can believe in myself. I can take a tip from them on that, not on all the rest. But your obsession, I'm gonna tell you what's hurting you right now. Are you ready? Your obsession with the next best thing, it's killing all of your relationships. Sorry, I said it, I know. But you clicked on this video, what are you gonna do? You can click it off if you want, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. The truth is your obsession with next is ruining your whole life, it's killing you. And we're in this swipe culture, right? Next, 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 next. And in some ways that can be really liberating and it can feel like I have the whole world at my fingertips. And yet the people who are really succeeding know that the whole world is not just next, you know, what's next, what's next, whether it's people, re, you know, relationships, places, it's what's now, what's now, what's the miracle that's happening right now? What, what can I be grateful for right now? How can I embrace my relationships right now? And that doesn't mean that you're not gonna create more. You actually will create so much more from that place. But what happens when you're in the what's next, swipe, whatever culture mentality, hurry up, you know? What's the next best thing? You're running away from what's now. So anytime you seek validation, Anytime you say this person, this place, this thing isn't good enough for me, say, what am I after within me that I think my outside has to change? And give that to yourself first. And then the ironic thing is, 
that you do that and then the outside changes and then the outside is exactly as you wish it. So weird, right? We try so hard to do the opposite. So as much as you're dismissing the miracle in your body, the millions of miracles in your body, you push away and dismiss the miracles that are wanting to come into your experience because either you're obsessed with what's next, next, instead of what's now. And then the other thing is that um, I just forgot. <laughs> so that's what happens when you're in the now. When the, you're in the now, you get very spacey. I will warn you of that. And so sometimes that can be frustrating because you're not running off a script. You're not running off of, I'm gonna say this and do this and do that and everything's very rehearsed and scripted and perfect and manufactured. It's from the heart and it's right now. Right now I feel this way. And some people say, we can't live that way. It's gonna be flying off the seat of your pants. And if you're saying, Leah, that it's not swipe, swipe and just what's next, but then you're constantly so in the now that then something now is unpleasant, you're gonna walk away from it and not nurture it and go, well, this is just temporary. And I said, no, 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 no. We can trust the now more than we can trust the past or later, but we've bought into that we can't because we're gonna to be totally reckless. But the opposite is true. We're reckless and dismiss people when we dismiss what's happening right now. So that's what's killing the miracle is that you're not grateful for all the miracles already happening. You're not present in the now. And you're forgetful AF <laughs> because you're sometimes in the now like I am. So that'll come back to me. There was a third one. There was a third one. What is it? Um, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. See, being present. You just have to roll with it. It's that then we think of the things that we want, right? Like the things we want to manifest or desire, we desire them or whatever like that. Well, first of all, when you want it, it means you don't have it. So you're coming from a place of lack. So that pushes the miracle away. And the second thing is we put it way up on a pedestal. So I see this a lot with, I, I coach, uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm an acting coach turned soul coach because what I found in helping people read behavior, tap into their authenticity, be truthful and imaginative, that helps your soul evolve in lots of different areas of business but we enter the tipping point through acting, yoga and meditation, so to become present on stage on camera. So a lot of the actors that I work with will have trouble with this, brilliant actors. Some of them, I hope you get to know, some of them you'll never know because of their mental, and this is why I wanted to help people with this, talented people, but because of their mental state, unless they shift it, the ones working with me are and have, <laughs> but the ones that quit on themselves, they don't give themselves the opportunity to shift this mentality of lack and limitation. They put their dreams up on this big pedestal. And so they keep having this self-fulfilling prophecy of not booking work or not showing up as their full authentic self because they tell themselves a story that they can't book work. So I'll give you a couple of quick examples. You know, I did stand-up comedy 20 years ago <laughs> and I did it professionally and I booked shows as well and I produced shows and I worked with a lot of comics who now have specials and things. And it's so cool, especially the ones that are like really good people who I just love. Actually, what I'm noticing is really the really good people are the ones that are really succeeding. 
Not just good people though, the mentality, the ones that had the right mentality. So a girl, a girl, a lady, who I used to do stand up with has a, a new special out that just came out on uh, Mother's Day called uh, Mom Mom Jeans with Christina P. Christina P. <laughs> I'm so happy for her. It's her second special, and her and her Tom, her and her Tom, her and her husband Tom Segura are just killing it. They're like, they're just massive. I just saw that Tom just like sold out Ball Arena in Denver here for like three shows. But the thing that's so inspiring is that they're good people. I had so much fun doing shows with both those guys and they're good people. Like when I used to produce stand up, the nights when I had a lineup of not only funny people, but people who were so easy to work with and just had the best mentality. It was always such a fun night. So I watched Christina's special. <laughs> the other day and I was just, I was like, I was so tickled because, you know, we used to joke about having specials and this and that. And she just had always the best attitude, always one of the best comics to work with, the best just, and she always set out to do exactly what she's doing and she's doing it, but she never came from lack and limitation. So I remember when she started her podcast, your mom's house, <laughs> And she's doing so great. I'm just so happy for her. And um, and I remember sharing this with another comic friend of mine who was struggling. And it was once I came back to Denver and was teaching and stuff. And he's so talented, this person. I'm not going to name names. But he's so talented. Really funny. So talented. And I said, I saw her stuff starting to take off. And I said, why don't you do a podcast, you know? Uh, and I was sharing a little bit about Christina and she didn't have her specials yet, but I just saw what she was doing and what she was creating. It was really inspiring. And he's like, oh, it, that doesn't work. So it doesn't work for him because that's the story he's saying. It did work for her because that's the story she's saying. And then also it has to do with talent and showing up and all that, right? But you have gifts inside of you. So like I said, you're already a miracle. So where are you discounting that? Like, oh yeah, great, Leah, my heart is beating. Got it. <laughs> great, cool, I'm breathing, I'm a miracle. Cool, cringy. Or where are you going, yeah, actually, I am. I am a miracle. And then finding the gratitude for that and then building up from that into what's happening right now. What's happening in my life right now? And yes, you can think about the future. What do I want to create? But not from a, this sucks right now and my life is going to be better when I have that. Have it be happy and great now and then that thing comes. That's what I've noticed in my life. So I'll share just one um, one quick little tidbit from, from Leah, the Leah camp over here. I don't even know what it's going to be, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to share from my heart. Cause that's what I do. There's many examples actually about when I've come into alignment with this, that things have worked actually many times. Um, I booked jobs. So when every time when I would, when I was auditioning as an actor, cause now I really love teaching and coaching and directing and doing this stuff. And I never knew that I would love it so much. I love it so much that now I don't, I don't act. I don't do all that stuff, but I love helping other people do it. But when I was auditioning a lot and I would get so focused on Oh, I hope I got that audition. I hope I got that audition. Oh God, I just hope I get it. You know, the phone wouldn't ring and it would be just bad energy. So I stopped telling people when I would have auditions that I was excited about because it was even worse than when friends and family, did you hear, did you hear, did you hear, did you hear? So I have a tip for you, hold space for whatever you are manifesting. That's how you can be in the now instead of sharing be careful who you share with because even people with the best of intentions sometimes it can that energy squashes it so that energy starts putting it on the pedestal and when you elevate something what does it do 
it makes it out of reach, right? So think about anything that you want easy access to in your house. You wouldn't put it way far out of reach, but we'll do that with a relationship that we think is, you know, awesome. Or we'll do that with a career that we think would be awesome. We put it so far out of reach. So then the other thing is to bring it, not to squash it or be like, oh, that doesn't matter, but the way that you bring it down to level it out so that it can be accessible, so you can reach the damn can of soup, is that you stay in the now, you find gratitude for the miracle that is, right? And then you also make it so accessible that you elevate yourself. And sit, you're not pushing anybody else down, you elevate yourself. How do you do that? This is the really weird, silly part. Have fun. Isn't that weird? Just like go have fun. Buy yourself that cool suit or the dress or whatever. It doesn't always have to be superficial stuff, but things that have light and love and energy that make you feel good are important, even if it is a superficial thing. Some people go, well, that's not spiritual. And I say, that's not true. Because when you feel good, you attract more good. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. So we adopt these laws of nature and understand that that's the way it is. And then more and more miracles are attracted to us. So other times in my life, I've done that, you know, then when I brought it to a level of, I'm going to just keep acting and enjoy my life and creating things, then boom, all these opportunities would come to me. See, because I'm just happy and enjoying and doing what I do. But whenever, um, I time this always perfectly, right? When my battery's dying, it's amazing. Look, cue the wind, the storm, and battery die. Let's go. Let's roll. It's go time. So I would do that with jobs when I would, you know, book jobs and until I started holding the sacred space for it. So I would then, when I shifted it and started booking stuff, I stopped telling everybody about it. Not because I didn't care about my friends or family, but just share the news later when it's already manifested. And then I would audition and just go have fun and leave it alone and enjoy. And then the phone would ring and I would book a job every time. Same with relationships. Like if you get really down, trust me, I'm like the queen of being single, okay? I'm gonna become the single expert because I have not been married. It's okay. I know everyone's like, oh, what? No, can you believe it? I'm an old maid and I have a kid? How is that possible? I don't know, you guys. I'm not gonna do a science uh, lesson right now, but there's miracles. There's miracles in science. I'm a miracle. My child is a miracle. And what is the point of all that? The point is to tell you I'm a miracle and you are too. So that's a miracle. No one said I could do, every, most everyone said I couldn't do that. Every day, believe me, it's a damn miracle we get through. <laughs> There's a lot, it's a lot of juggling. That's a miracle. It's a miracle I'm gonna make this video and it's about to die and I've lost complete train of thought because I'm in the now, but that's okay because it's a much more free place to live. So to attract miracles, be grateful, be in the now, be grateful for what is happening. Think about what you want and but then just go have fun. Take the action steps, go on the audition, but then go have fun. Meet the person, have the awesome date, and then leave it alone, have fun. So that's where the this or something better comes in always being open to this or something better. When I look back at Christina, she was never like, it has to happen this way. So when I see and watch her on Netflix, I'm like, of course she has two Netflix special. Of course she's super successful because she was open and having so much fun. And she's a joy to be around. Does that mean she probably has challenges? No, she even shared it on the special. We all have challenges. What are you going to do with it? Hmm. There was a lot there. That was power packed. Day nine to six. Day nine to six in the his house. Woo woo. 96 of 100 days of meditation if you're following along. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, sharing. It does matter a lot. 
It really helps. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I see you, I appreciate you. I give so much thanks for you. You are a miracle. Let's meditate. Take a deep breath in and out of your nose. Close your eyes or take a soft, steady gaze. With each inhale, breathing in, nourishing, healing light. And with each exhale, melting away any stress, worry, doubt, or fear. With each inhale and exhale aligning to the abundance, beauty, and light always available within you. And with each exhale, allowing any stress, tension, worry, doubt, or fear to just melt away. Breathing in and out now from this aligned place of the highest and best. Check in with all the miracles happening within you right now. Breathe. With each inhale and exhale, giving thanks. that is you now 
give thanks for all the miracles happening outside of your physical being. Hear this meditation. The hearing is happening within you. The experience of the audio is happening outside of you. You are safe right now. There are miracles happening in nature right now. Count as many miracles happening both inside and outside your physical being right now. wellspring of gratitude that so much is already working on your behalf supporting you nurturing you loving you from this place now bring into your mind's eye any new miracle that you would like to drop into your experience now Breathe. Now in your mind's eye, as if this was in your now experience, not in the past, not in the future, but this miracle that you wish to be is happening right now feel it in to every cell of your being with each breath with every breath. You are a miracle.